as a human you are going to experience a lot of challenges pain and hardship and i have experienced a lot of it and i'm sure i'm not the only one but the question is are you letting it define you or using it as an opportunity to grow through it hi i'm shivani pawar i'm a best seller author a nutritionist emotional well-being coach and a dreamer it is one of my dream to be a tedx speaker and finally share my story of how i became the women of my dream and how i grew through with all the challenges which i had I would like to begin by taking to my childhood. As a child I used to be very sensitive and I used to cry over every single thing. And when you cry over every single thing, you obviously don't feel happy. You feel sad, unworthy and you feel like your emotions are not valid. And if people around you try to make you feel bad about your own emotions, you feel like a misfit. I had hard time dealing with people, making friends and being happy in general. And it was all because of some negative thoughts inside my head which used to tell me that nobody wants me nobody loves me because i have grown up in a dysfunctional family where my parents used to fight every single day over smallest of the things they used to shout scream abuse and blame over every single day and every time i tried to calm them down they would turn on me and start fighting with me instead and then suddenly everything felt like a big giant black hole Toxic parenting is real. Nobody is perfect and no parent is perfect. The toxic environment where I grown up in taught me to be nice to others but not to myself. I used to criticize myself over every single thing. I used to be my biggest critic. Negative self-talk were my best friends. And then sooner I started experiencing extreme anxiety. In year 2016 I had my first anxiety attack. I couldn't understand what was happening. My body was not under my control. I could not breathe. I was suffocated. I felt like someone is choking me. I felt like I'm sinking deep down into a dark ocean like Titanic. But luckily I survived. And that's what an anxiety attack feels like. With my experience with anxiety, I realized that anxiety is very common. Raise your hand if you have ever experienced something like this. Not to this extent, but just a little. I can see many and you are not alone. According to World Health Organization, there are 38 million Indian people who are suffering from anxiety. India is one of the depressed country. India has highest rate of teenage suicide all across the globe. 50% of corporate employees are not happy and suffering from anxiety and depression. Something which is this serious, something which is this common, then why people are still not talking about it? why we are brushing these important topics under the carpet this realization hit me i knew i had to share my story i knew i had to come up while discussing this with my parents they told me that how no one would want to hear mere pagal hone ki kahani and how no one would marry a pagal girl after all samaj ko muh dikhana tha and log kya kahenge syndrome is real in india that's one of the biggest reason why people don't talk about such issues and then one traumatizing incident happened in my life it was 8th march 2019 i was in my office talking something with my colleague which i still could not remember my mind had this habit of wondering but it was not that i was wondering and lost inside my mind but i was having an anxiety attack right in front of her i fell down she got scared and she screamed for help and then soon everyone in our office gathered around our cabin i felt suffocated i felt terrified i felt exposed never have i ever thought that i would have an anxiety attack like this in public that day i had three back to back anxiety attacks from 11 am to 3 pm after my last anxiety attack they took me to the nearest hospital where doctor looked into my condition and prescribed me some medicines I knew it was a temporary relief. I knew I needed something solid and I knew my mental health was bad. And here earlier I took admission in psychology to understand why I feel such strong emotion, to understand my human psyche. But despite of learning about human psychology, my condition was not improving. I discussed this thing with one of my teacher. He suggested me that I should consult a clinical psychologist and he recommended me one. Again I discussed these things with my parents and they told me that I'm only over exaggerating things. 
and seeking attention and called me pagal again but this time i knew i needed help and no matter with or without my parents i'm going to help myself i'm going to be there to help myself next morning 9 am i went to her clinic for the counseling session it was going to be an hour long session and she took out her pen and paper and asked me few questions like what i do and my life in journal throughout the session i cried i was told to never share emotions i was told to never share your feelings but there i was sharing my feelings my emotions into word and i felt bless release i felt light but unfortunately my counselor had to switch her job and move to another city but that did not stop me i consulted another counselor from 2019 till december 2021 i was on counseling and my counseling session showed me a different world that my life could be better that i can be happy i learned so many things about life i learned so many things about myself and i emerged myself into self growth because of my experience i got a whole new purpose in life that is to empower people emotionally with the similar experience that i had and today i am going to teach you three important life hacks which helped me to transform my life hack number 1 change you are not limited by the pandemic you are not limited by your boss by the way you were raised and how people treated you the only limit that you put on yourself is you why you cannot have it how you cannot do it and how no one in your family has ever done this stop giving all the excuses to yourself and remove all the limits there is a quote by rumi which says yesterday i was clever and i wanted to change the world but today i am wise and i am changing myself it took me 4 years to finally bring that change into me but the question is how many years are you going to take to change when i learned this hack i changed so many things i changed my job i changed my office i changed my wardrobe my hairstyle my playlist everything that i could possibly change i changed and i want to encourage you to pick five things that you want to change in your life and change now comes the hack number 2 start dreaming i want to ask you one simple question what is the richest place on this planet earth i'll help you well it's not dubai it's not japan and it's not us the richest place on this planet earth is graveyard yes you heard me right graveyard where there are so many big dreams are buried amazing business ideas amazing songs unwritten books dreams with potential all buried don't let your dreams die they are there for a reason and then write write your dreams according to an article by cnbc if you write your dreams your chances of achieving those dreams can increased by 42% how amazing just by writing your dreams i took pen and paper and started writing every single dream which i want to accomplish in my life like have great relationship with my family have great physique have great mental health write a best seller book and some silly dreams like go on a solo trip ride a bike dye my hair blue get a tattoo and so many others many of my dreams have already been accomplished and some of them are still in pipeline as you can see my hair is still black and then write 10 things for each of your dream to support it that you want to do because the gap between dream and reality is action write down those thing that you want to do to accomplish that dream and then ultimately your dreams can convert into reality now comes the hack number 3 which is very interesting and cool at the same time that is meditation yes I want you all to do this simple activity with me. I want you all to close your eyes and then just observe your breathing. Just observe. Is it too long? Is it too short? Is it touching your chest or your stomach? Is it cold, hot? Just observe. And now open your eyes. Now I want you all to do this activity again. but this time you control your breathing and follow my voice just close your eyes and take a long deep breath 
and let it go every part of your body. And then release, slowly, slowly. One more time, take a long, deep breath. Let it go every part of your body again. And then release. Open your eyes. That's it. That's what meditation is all about. Tell me, was it easy or tough? Easy. When I did it for the first time, I found it very, very tough. I could not, I could not do it. And I only did it for 17 seconds. Yes. But I want you all to do it. Even if you cannot do it for one minute straight, at least keep on trying. Because I kept on trying and now I can do it for hours. There are so many kind of meditation that you can do. There are guided meditation, sleep meditation, dark meditation. You can select any meditation which you like, which you are comfortable with. But I'm going to teach you a very simple method to do it. And those Four steps are common in every single meditation. So the step number one is find a quiet space or you can use noise cancellation earbuds. Number two, sit quietly or you can lie down but I would suggest you to sit because you can fall asleep because I have fallen asleep multiple times. And then step number three, start taking long deep breath. You can hold it for a few seconds and then release. Number four, be a casual observer of your thoughts. Do not follow them, let them come and go. That's it. With all these four steps, you can start meditating. So meditation is nothing but a conscious breathing for a period of time. Meditation has a lot of advantages. Advantages like it can help you to boost your immune system. It can help you to concentrate better. It can help you in focus and it can also help you to increase your lifespan. How cool is that? Just by doing meditation. So I want to encourage you all to start doing meditation and experience this power in your life. And these are the three major life hacks which I used to transform my life and finally became the women of my dream. And I want to encourage you all to grow through what you go through. Because once I thought was a curse in my life turned out to be the biggest blessing. Because you never know what life has to offer you and never stop believing in yourself. Thank you.